Have you ever had thoughts that you'd be better off dead? Or thoughts about actually killing yourself? If you have, you're not alone. I've been there too. Hi, I'm Thomas, and I'm a sex researcher. And this episode is a little bit different. It's more sex adjacent than directly about sex. At every single therapy session that I do, I ask my patients if in the past two weeks they've had any thoughts that they would be better off dead or thoughts of harming themselves. If they say yes, I ask them more questions, like if they had actual thoughts of killing themselves, and then I ask them about specific plans they might have for killing themselves, and if they have any intentions to follow through on those plans. By asking those questions, what I'm doing is collecting information to gauge the individual's actual risk of suicide. Simply having the thought that you would be better off dead or only having a thought about harming yourself is not necessarily high risk. However, when someone has a plan and intentions to follow through with that plan, well, that is obviously when the risk is higher. I've never made a suicide attempt, but I'd be lying if I said that I've never thought about it. I had a very emotionally tough childhood, and there were honestly many times where I thought that I would be better off dead or wished that I'd just fall asleep and not wake up in the morning. For myself, I think what stopped me was my love for music and video games and movies. Whenever I felt really down, I would distract myself with loud music, watch scary movies, or play an immersive video game that would take me forever to beat. And then once I had a car, I would just get in my car and drive away anywhere I could go at any time just to get out of the house. I had no plan for killing myself. If someone had asked me how I was going to do it, I probably would have laughed and said something like, I don't know, I'm not going to actually do it. And if saying I don't know how I would do it is actually a strong indicator that that person is not planning to make an actual attempt. When I got a bit older, I moved to New York City from a small town in Michigan. I was 18 and I left about a week after I graduated high school. I moved there knowing only one person. It was the person that I was dating. When we broke up, I felt like I was all alone, like I had no one. This was actually probably the darkest time in my life. I had just turned 19, I was living in a huge city, I had very few friends going through the breakup. I, I couldn't handle it. The music wasn't working, the movies weren't working, the video games weren't working. And then I actually had thoughts about killing myself, and I had a plan. I figured that what I would do is I would jump in front of a subway train. I figured it would be quick, and I had easy access. The subway is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I didn't do it though, but I thought about it many times. So I had a plan, but no intentions. When the thoughts didn't seem to be going away and they would become more frequent and more intense, I decided it was time to see a therapist. And she really helped me. She helped me to understand my depression, helped me to work on myself so that I would feel better about myself, and also helped me to cultivate a social support system. It was very clear when I went to her. I remember walking in the door, sitting down, asking me why I was there, and I just said, I'm having thoughts of killing myself and I don't wanna do it. I don't know what to do. And looking back on it, I think that was probably the hardest part, admitting to someone that I was having those thoughts. There's so much stigma about mental health, and I honestly thought that if I told someone that I was having those thoughts, that they would just wanna lock me up. Having thoughts about harming yourself is pretty common, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't talk to someone about it. And if you tell a mental health provider, they're not gonna think you're crazy. I had a lot of thoughts about suicide, but I also knew I really didn't wanna die. I just wanted things in my life to change. And I think that's what stopped me. I know that it wasn't life that I hated, just my current circumstances. So I did my best to change the circumstances, and it worked. Depression is highly associated with suicide, and more than 50% of people who are having a depressive episode don't seek treatment. September 8th through the 14th is National Suicide Prevention Week in the United States. Each year in the US, almost 45,000 people die by suicide. That's one every 12 minutes. If you take an hour-long nap, Five people in the U.S. died by suicide while you were sleeping. There are gender differences when it comes to suicide attempts. Females attempt suicide three times as often as males, but when it comes to actual death, men are four times as likely to die from an attempt. 
Men make more violent attempts that are not easily undone. Females are also more frequently diagnosed with depression compared to men, but far more females reach out for mental health services. More men should too. Whether you are male, female, or non-binary, if you're having thoughts that you would be better off dead, or thoughts about harming yourself, there is help, and you don't have to think or feel that way forever. I'm putting some national hotline numbers below. Reach out, talk to someone. Don't be afraid to tell them how you're feeling. If I hadn't told someone how I was feeling, I don't know if I'd be here today. And I'm pretty happy that I am. Thanks for watching. I've got a lot of content in production and I don't want you to miss out. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. And in the meantime, check out one of these other videos. And don't forget to send me your questions about sex to thomastalksabout at gmail.com.